We're not going to pretend we haven't thought about what it'd be like to have superpowers. There's a reason that comic book adaptations dominate the box office. It's a seductive idea, imagining how we might act if we had certain supernatural abilities that go further than what's thought to be possible for human beings. Abilities that a certain foundation might consider anomalous. For the record, the power we wish we had was the mimetic ability to make you like, subscribe, and watch all of our videos just because you saw the titles and thumbnails. That would be phenomenal. But today, we're not here to talk about us. That's right. We're here to talk about you. We have a little tradition here at SCP Explained. We like to put interesting SCP-related questions to our fans over in the community posts. Questions like, what anomalous SCP abilities would you personally want to have? And you didn't disappoint. So let's put on our capes and do our very best to hide from the mobile task forces hunting us and see which abilities you selected and why. Fauna too said, I'd either want the powers of Dear God, SCP-2845, or the ability to heal anything like SCP-500. The ability to heal would be really neat to be able to do, but I really like the concept of just summoning pillars and chunks of ice that never melt. I probably wouldn't turn anyone into a column, though. A fascinating combination. The Dear God is one of the most powerful reality warpers that the SCP Foundation has in containment. Luckily, its lack of knowledge about the power of rituals keep it in a self-imposed trap. It's nice to know that you'd at least use its immense and terrifying power more responsibly than the Foundation estimate the deer itself would, if ever it escaped. And hey, the ability to heal people of any disease at will would definitely win you some friends. We just hope you're ready to become very, very popular, Fonatu. Anoop Singha said, I just want the reptile's incredible adaptability and a ticket to the Wanderer's Library. Because let's just agree, folks in our world, the only thing that measures greatness is adaptability. Leon C. Meganson, inspired by the works of Charles Darwin, did once say, It is not the strongest of the species that survives, nor the most intelligent. It is the one most adaptable to change. And there's definitely some truth to that. Also, while it doesn't technically qualify as having an anomalous ability, Having access to the Wanderer's Library via one of the ways is certainly a great way to bone up on obscure and arcane knowledge. Just remember to keep your Wanderer's Library card in your wallet and bring anything you take out back on time. I've heard the late fees from that library can be… murder. I'm sorry, that was a bad joke. Enzu said, I definitely feel like that if I had the same abilities as SCP-173, people would tend to look my way more often, quite literally. Now, this wouldn't be the last time this comes up, so we should probably make the blanket statement, SCP Explain does not in any way endorse performing dangerous or criminal activity. That being said, if the power you're referring to is snapping people's necks while they stop looking at you, then it's technically something you can do already if you work on your arm strength and twisting technique. We're not saying you should, we're just saying it's possible. Something 930 said, I'd like a combination of SCP-999's optimism and good vibes, and SCP-230's chemical secretion, though not as addictive or fatal. After the past couple of years, everyone deserves to feel good one way or another. That is certainly a noble goal. SCP-999 is a beacon of pure happiness, and the aerosolized chemical emitted by SCP-230, also known as the gayest man alive, does undeniably also give pleasurable sensations to people, at the cost of long-term harm. To fuse their abilities with diminished side effects would definitely make you a nice person to be around. Though, much like the next snapping abilities of SCP-173, you can also embody the positivity of SCP-999 in your daily life already, and uplift the people you meet. It's definitely worth thinking about. Neo Voyagers said, What about the combo that LS used by combining SCP-268, the invisibility cap, and SCP-914, the clockworks? I feel like it would be really overpowered. A powerful combo indeed, but not without its risks. After all, extended use may turn you into an unperson, impossible to focus on, alone and adrift in an isolated and frightening world. But hey, you'd be a pretty amazing petty thief or assassin at least. Weeb said, I think it'd be really cool to have an evil tickle monster where he literally just tickles you to death. So we've got good news and bad news. The bad news is we don't think it's possible to tickle someone to death by conventional means. It would just cause the victim to eventually faint from the stress. 
However, even in the absence of anomaly deadly tickling abilities, affixing long blades to your fingers would probably make your tickle game far more lethal than ever before. That, if you can believe it, was the good news. I am Gorb said, Personally, I wouldn't really want to have any sort of mind control or resistance to weapons because, at that point, you'd be more dangerous than most other anomalies. I'd either want to be a variation of a little mister or have powers which relate to animals somehow. Mind control and resistance to weapons would indeed make you a more dangerous anomaly and by extension put a target on your back for the SCP Foundation. The last thing you want is to be put in a medically induced coma to prevent your brainwaves from passively hurting people. A little mister's power would certainly be a lot nicer, unless it was something like the eternally fast-tracked life and death of Mr. Life and Mr. Death. That'd probably leave you begging for the mind control abilities. The Real Rubric said, I would like a combination of able speed and sword conjuring with Kane's ability to reflect damage and his immortality. It just seems overpowered, and that is why I want it. It's truly the perfect power set for the kind of person who loves to dish it out and never expects to take it. You may effectively become the ultimate warrior, but you definitely won't win any friends in the process. Like the kid on the playground with the lava-proof shoes. Hamze Salik said, I would choose an infinitely powerful form of SCP-343's reality-bending power. We can only imagine it would play out like a far more violent and disturbing version of Bruce Almighty. And personally, we can't wait to see it. Gwinner said, To be perfectly honest, I'd rather have the ability to not have an ability, so I don't get bundled into the back of a van in the middle of the night and placed into a bleached white containment cell to be prodded and poked by some lab coat wearing four eyes. All offense intended. Besides, I'd rather be ignorant of the horror than face the horror. You know, to keep my sanity and not suffer like a Delta Green agent lol. Oh, come on, it's just for fun. And don't act like containment is such a bad thing either. The Foundation has installed a new selection of especially comfy bunk beds in their humanoid containment wing as of late. Shruggy Gaming said, I would say having the reluctant dimension hopper's powers, but with the ability to control it. Having it to control time and location would be awesome too. This would be an excellent power. Imagine the money you could save on bus fare or gas for your car. Not to mention the fact you could visit the grinning man in the dimension of pure darkness whenever you please. What can we say? The poor guy gets lonely sometimes. Ari Workman said, I feel like being able to use 096's ability to be able to go through anything whenever I feel like it would be pretty nice. Um, <clears throat> We can't tell if you mean SCP-106, who can phase through solid objects, or if you really do mean SCP-096, who can also go through anything while in his rage state. He just leaves a considerably bigger mess in the process. Feel free to clarify down in the comments. Anonymous Sheeb said, Alright, so I thought of three. The extreme regenerative abilities of 682, the undyingness of Dr. Bright, except perhaps confined to a more normal artifact, and the powers of the butler from the bell, minus the whole doing what you're told to do aspect. That is a hell of a combination. A superpowered, immortal, ultra-adaptive butler who bows to no one. The only hidden downside of taking in all of these powers is that you'll also be bound to Mr. Deeds' summoning bell. And considering you're not offering any services in exchange for your summoning, that bell may wind up gathering dust on the shelf. Mikan Cobb said, I would love to see a wholesome combination of SCP-990, Dream Man, and SCP-348, a gift from Dad. The idea is that the Dream Dad would give you a meal, a warning, and something positive to end the dream. That would be incredibly wholesome. We just hope that, unlike the actual Dream Man, these dreams wouldn't cause the people to whom you give them to die of violent seizures or heart attacks the day after they've received them. Zeomoenik2580 Fun said, I like the power of the I'm at the center of everything that happens to me SCP. I don't know how I would utilize this power, but it sounds cool to create stories or to torture whoever I want. Well, that's terrifying. Remind us to never upset you. Ish. John Ganaria said, SCP-5000 suits invisibility and low detection, and I'd also pair that with 053's abilities of forcing death and attacks. The most lethal spy you'd ever encountered. Technically, you'd be less a spy and more of a nightmarish spree killer, given that SCP-053's violence-inducing effects are passive. 
Simply being in the presence of people would cause them to violently murder one another, and never know why. Fan of Action said, I would like Abel's powers, but with demonic firearms with infinite ammo instead of swords. I can see why you call yourself Fan of Action, because that definitely sounds like the premise of a lost Arnold Schwarzenegger movie from 1987. Thunder said, A mix of 426 and the reluctant Dimension Hopper one. I could spread the toaster across all reality. Yes, spread the toaster. Spread me everywhere. Spread me like one spreads peanut butter or jelly across a fresh slice of toast. Our dominion will be total. Sahil Ahmed said, Oh boy, I would absolutely love to be able to cook like SCP-5031. An extremely noble pursuit, Sahil. Though for what it's worth, with enough practice and passion, anyone can cook. Take some classes, watch some tutorials here on YouTube, or at least watching Ratatouille would be a good start. James Clark said, I want to become a reality bender so I can make my wife foo real. <sighs> you can make her real all you like, James. But remember the most important part. Just because she's real doesn't mean she'll want you back. Okay? Okay. Novadog824 said, I would love to be 3166 Gorefield. The thought of brutally murdering anyone I meet, beating them to death with blunt weapons, and feeding them my flesh has always been a fascinating idea. Yikes. Now, we hate to be that guy, Novadog, but once again, you technically do that already, um, <clears throat> but don't. Ollie Lampke said, I just want a hat with the ability of the pan-dimensional vending machine. Now this one is truly fascinating. Does the hat dispense snacks and drinks? Is it a ginormous hat? Or one of those cheap plastic beer drinking hats that happens to dispense interdimensional beverages? Ah, uh, perhaps we'll never know. Cameron Hansen said, I would take the coffee machine and the desire camera's powers and see what people truly want to drink. Well, that's a thought-provoking combination. The more I think about it, the more its strange ambiguity disturbs me. Mincap1326 said, I want to be like SCP-001 when day breaks. It would be fun to see masses of flesh slithering around, absorbing more people and animals. <sighs> All I can say is that you and I have very different ideas of fun, Mincat. Green Koopa said, I'll be honest, more than anything in the SCP multiverse, I want to release the Devourer. This isn't even really a power as much as it is an odd, self-destructive desire to bring about the apocalypse by proxy. Wouldn't it be more fun to have super strength or fly than release a monster that'll eat all of humanity, yourself included? Look, I'm just saying it's worth considering. Sarah Walden said, I would want powers like SCP-055 so I could... Wait, why am I here again? That's a good question. I think it had something to do with the... Um... Uh, hold on, give me a second. Uh, man, nope, I lost it. Polygon said, personally, I would want SCP-005. It feels cool to open any door in existence. This would be an excellent ability with a wide number of applications. But as we learn from Green Koopa and his aspirations to free the Devourer not long ago, some doors are just better left closed. Javon Lou Clovis said, if Dr. Bright doesn't want his amulet, I can have it. I'm fully aware of the consequences of his immortality, but I won't alter or change them. I just want to outlive everyone and everything. Is, uh, everything okay, Javon? That's certainly a frightening Johann Liebert-esque aspiration, but I think outliving all other life and drifting through the infinite void of space for an eternity afterwards isn't nearly as fun as you might think. Wizard Shark said, probably 5094, I'd not only be the greatest teacher on the planet, but I'd also know practically everything. A noble ambition, to be sure. The world needs great teachers, and it's not like Miss J can school everyone. Some brave anomalous teachers need to take up the mantle. Night Fury Production said, I'd borrow the Gender Switching Stones abilities. The Gender Switching Stones abilities would be undeniably useful, especially for transgender people. Just make sure you don't use it on the same person too many times. There can be some nasty side effects. Bob Burt said, Oh, this one's easy. The tomatoes that kill anyone who makes a terrible joke. That would be a dangerous ability to have in one of these comment response videos. Seriously. Poland fan said, 096, so I can murder anyone who looks at me. Personally, we'd recommend therapy to get over this crippling homicidal shyness. 
Though once again, technically, this is also something you could do without anomalous powers. We just strongly recommend that you don't do it, because committing murder is not cool. Mr. Xtreme said, I would like to have the ability of SCP-049, not killing with a touch, but actually curing this COVID-19 pandemic. I prefer to have the power of curing every person affected by the pandemic by a single touch of my hand. The real tragedy is that your dream is likely shared by the Plague Doctor himself. He wishes he could bring life instead of death, cures instead of corruption, but such a thing seems out of the cards for this poor anomalous dog. The Christmas Cretan said, I'd love to have the abilities of 2786, so I could just stay in a book and not exist in the real world for a fat minute. Honestly, I think we've all felt like that sometimes. But hey, you don't need anomalous powers to lose yourself in a great book for a little while. We thoroughly recommend trying it, as long as it's not an evil book, like the Encyclopedia of Common Diseases or A Chronicle of the Davos. Addison Peacock said, I'd love to shapeshift like SCP-953, spontaneously generate pizza like 458, or the life-saving abilities of the Teddy Bear Doctor 2295. This is a powerful triple threat. We'd personally watch a prestige television drama about a person shapeshifting to live a double life as an anomalous surgeon and a world-class pizza chef. If any TV executives see this, please get in contact. Though sadly, we will need to dose you with amnestics afterwards. Lindsay J said, The incredible brand integration and longevity powers of SCP-3166. Pause for 10,000 years. Pause until the sun is a flickering ember and the face of man is resigned to dust within the cities. The day when the universe goes cold will be a Monday. This is so frighteningly on point, part of me believes that SCP-3166 somehow actually wrote this under an alias. And if that is the case, we'll need to dispatch a mobile task force immediately to make sure that Jim Davis, Bill Murray, and all their many associates are safe from your lasagna-coated wrath. And there you have it, folks. The most desirable anomalous abilities among the SCP Explained community. For those curious about the overall distribution, the most commonly requested abilities were the adaptability of SCP-682, the reality warping powers of SCP-343, and heartwarmingly, the positivity powers of SCP-999. Want to be part of our next video? Keep an eye on the community tab, and definitely let us know which power you'd like to have down in the comments. Not because we're working with Foundation field agents who want to root out possibly anomalous individuals using our videos to learn more about their inner workings. Just because we're curious. Honest. Now go check out SCP-096, look at a picture of Shy Guy in space, the Shy Guy questions and theories, and how to actually beat SCP-3008, the infinite Ikea, for more dreams and nightmares from the fans of SCP Explained.